Well, hi everybody. Here we are at the beautiful Red Rocks Amphitheater. Amazing place to do a show, which we are doing today. But I thought I'd take a minute and tell you about a very magical day in my life. It was the day I wrote Proud Mary. Um, the actual writing began sometime in the summer of 1968. But we got to back up a little bit to get the whole thing in context. In the summer of 67, I got off of active duty with my Army Reserve uh, requirements. Went back home to El Cerrito in the Bay Area. Of course, 67 was the summer of love in that city. And uh, I was feeling really full of energy. And I thought I need to get organized with my music. So I decided I need to get a notebook, start writing things down. I went down to a local uh, store, a drug store actually, bought this cheap little vine, uh, vinyl binder and uh, didn't quite know what was going to go in it. I just figured songs were going to go in it. A few days went by and I had an idea for a phrase. <laughs> and the phrase was Proud Mary. Believe it or not, that was the very first thing I wrote in my book all those years ago. Anyway, I wrote that down and obviously as other things occurred to me, I wrote other things in that book. Uh, so time passed, got up to uh, 1968 early on. Credence uh, was getting pretty serious. We recorded an album that came out on May 28th of 1968 of course that's my birthday and i was already starting to write songs for what would be the second album and writing things in my little book uh, then a magical thing happened about june of 1968 i got my honorable discharge from the army and it was sitting on the steps to my apartment house and i actually walked by it for a couple of days before I looked close to see who it was for. Anyway, I opened it up. Remember, this is the height of the Vietnam War. I was pretty happy about that, and then I could go on and do my music. So I was so overjoyed, I went out on the little lawn and did a cartwheel. Then I ran in the house, and I grabbed my Rickenbacker and started playing some chords. I started working on a song almost immediately. I was so happy. Now, up to that point, I had sometimes been working on the uh, Beethoven's riff, uh, Beethoven's fifth thing that goes, uh, you know. Right? Uh, my mom always liked Beethoven, so that stuck in my head. I had the timing wrong, by the way. Uh, the actual thing goes. But I thought it went, and I kind of swapped that out a little bit, and I ended up with. Well, it was such a cool groove. I was sitting there in my apartment, and I started thinking about things. The most obvious line was, left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day. Of course, that was because I had just gotten out of the army. Oh my goodness, uh, I was overjoyed. I started putting thoughts together and finally I was singing this cool little bit that just made me happy. It was rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. And I got really, really excited with the words I was doing. But what is this thing gonna be called? What's it about? And I open my book and I see Proud Mary and it occurs to me, my God, I'm writing about a riverboat, and the name of the boat is Proud Mary. I mean, who would have thunk, right? Do you write a, a song about a boat? But anyway, uh, it took me about an hour. It wasn't 100% done, but maybe after an hour, it was 95% done, and I'm standing there, or sitting there, really, with a piece of paper in my hand. It was that yellow kind of paper with a pen and I'd written this song, Proud Mary, and I knew it was the best song I'd ever written. In fact, it was so good, I knew that it was a classic, 
And the overwhelming thought I had at the time was, my goodness, this is really good. And I'm the only one that knows. Anyway, that was the wonderful day that I wrote Proud Mary.